Welcome to Ag Week TV. I'm Michelle Rook. The president visited Iowa this week to survey damage from the historic derecho that hit parts of the Corn Belt August 10th. He has approved some federal disaster aid for Iowa, but the total agricultural losses are still being compiled. I followed the storm path to see the damage firsthand. I think what's hard to get your head around is the scope and the scale of what's happened. With acre upon acre of downed and flattened corn, Iowa Secretary of Ag Mike Nag says the derecho could rank as one of the worst storms in the state's history. As you look at where the storm path went across the state of Iowa, it essentially hit the, the middle third of the state. 36 counties were hardest hit, totaling 3.57 million acres of corn and 2.5 million acres of soybeans. Some of these fields are a complete loss and they, and they shouldn't have to be harvested. And then you've got fields that are going to be somewhere in between that, that uh, you know, they'll still make a crop. Crop insurance adjusters are in the field, but it's too early to estimate losses. I, I think two, three weeks before we get a pretty good number. And again, a lot of it will depend on how much of it adjusters and producers are in agreement. While the true losses of this storm may not be known until the combines roll this fall, some estimates put corn production losses at hundreds of millions of bushels. In fact, the range is from 200 to 400 million with varying yield loss. I would say on a third of it, boy, it wouldn't shock me if it's 80% or better. On the middle third, maybe half. I, I keep saying I don't have a specific dollar amount today, but it's going to be a big number when you total up all the damage. Fortunately, most of the crop is insured by revenue policies. Well over 90% of the acres are covered, and also most of those coverage levels on corn average almost 81% of coverage levels. However, that may not cover grain quality losses, and there is concern about marketing options. My biggest worry to the basis is, will the co-ops even take it? 57 million bushels of commercial grain storage was also destroyed in tens of millions of bushels of on-farm storage.